20 whole pounds. The best 20 pounds I've ever spent in my life. Wow, what a cliffhanger. I'm gonna have to wait until next Wednesday to find out what happened in episode 10. If the dog's got a paw, it can whack subscribe. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Els, aka The Witch and welcome to my gaming channel. I've been giving little insights as to what I've been doing over the past few months. I've been posting videos of me building a computer, videos of me playing video games. So obviously this is going to be a gaming channel but I don't want people to think that I've just kind of turned on my PC and thought, oh do you know what I want to be today? What was it? Stars in their eyes. Do you know what I want to be today Michael? Whatever the hell his name was. I want to be a gamer and okay I, I went in there and I've come out and here I am no <laughs> I've actually always loved gaming I went to uni I studied computing so I am kind of technical I used to work for a technology firm I built the computer that we are on well I'm doing this on myself from scratch that's going to be one of the next videos is actually me building it myself I would say there's about about five key points in my life where gaming changed my life forever so the first one was i'd say i was about seven or eight originally there was this big fat red game boy and there was a yellow one as well and i had tetris on it and that was my first handheld console tetris great game but it was not long before the oracle of all game boy games came out on the game boy color i had the turquoise one my sister had the purple one game boy color Pokemon blue and red best game boy game I ever played best handheld game I've ever played. I still have it now That's the first moment I knew like I'm addicted to this second was My auntie went traveling when I was about I'd say nine She left her PlayStation 1 with a few games. I always remember watching my sister play because she was four years older than me Tekken 2 Crash Bandicoot basically any sort of old old school iconic game and I just sat there in awe like for days. During summer holidays, curtain shut, playing PlayStation, and my mum was beside herself. The third one was the biggest finesse I've ever accomplished. My friend had a Nintendo 64. She had four games on it. Um, Mario Party 2, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Zelda Majora's Mask, and Mario 64. And I said to her, can I buy it off you? Because you don't use it for 20 quid. 20 whole pounds. The best 20 pounds I've ever spent in my life. For a Nintendo 64, two game controllers and four games, 20 pound. The fourth key moment in my life where gaming changed me forever. PlayStation 2 come out, cool. And they brought out a game called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. My mum used to not let me play it because they'd done some documentary and she didn't want me to be like, be like shooting people and stuff. But I used to go around my friend's house and I would go and play Grand Theft Auto. That's game for me was iconic. I spent so many hours playing that game. When they let out the PlayStation 2 with that bundle that had Crazy Taxi in it and Dead or Alive 2, they were just great games. Oh, the days, those were the days. Um, and I also had Silent Hill 2, which my mum hated as well because I used to stab dead people. But again, I was having the time of my life. So yeah, the PlayStation 2 was a good, a good time. So the final key moment in my gaming life thus far was when I was about nine, we got our first desktop computer. It came with like a few games, but they were obviously pirate copy. They all had the name on a blank CD just written across the front. And there's this one game, The Sims. So I thought, oh, what's this then? I'm just gonna try it. I didn't know what it was. And this was The Sims 1, bearing in mind. One of the most iconic games ever. Later on, The Sims 2 came out, and that is when they stepped everything up. They stepped up the, you could have toddlers, you could actually have sex, or woohoo, whatever it's called. And then, yeah, it just kind of took over my life. I'd literally say hi and bye to my mum and dad. I'd be like, hi mum, all right dad, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go play The Sims now. I'd appear every now and again, just to be like, I'm still alive, I'm gonna get some sweets, and then I'd just go back upstairs. It was such a great game. And then obviously The Sims 3 came out, which to this day still is my favorite Sims game. I know there's The Sims 4, but Sims 3 for me, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal game. So yeah, those are like the five key areas. Game Boy, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Grand Theft Auto, 
Nintendo 64 and The Sims. So that's kind of like me in a nutshell, I suppose. Basically, what I'm going to be uploading onto this channel is a variety of different categories. The first category is gaming series. These will be on a number of different games. I'm not gonna reveal which games yet. Um, and there'll be different episodes, different storylines. I wanna get interactive. So I wanna design storylines based around what you guys think should happen in these particular series. I want it to be something that people tune into and be like, wow. What a cliffhanger. I'm gonna have to wait until next Wednesday to find out what happened in episode 10, you know? The second area I'm gonna be uploading into is gaming news. So I'm gonna be discussing everything in the gaming world. New tech releases, new games, new scandals. The third area I'm gonna be doing is game reviews. So when new stuff comes out, new games is coming out, new technology is coming out, new apps, I'm gonna be testing them out myself and reviewing them. My nickname is The Witch because I am quite an honest person, I mean, I got the nickname because I like to complain um, quite a bit and I'm quite blunt, so <laughs> game reviews should be interesting um, and I will always give my honest opinion on them. The fourth area I'm gonna be doing is streaming. I'm not entirely, why can't I f talk? The fourth area I'm gonna be uploading into is streaming. So I'm gonna be live streaming and then obviously put it on my channel. I don't know which game just yet. I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, then please comment. Um, and share your thoughts. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna live stream. I cannot wait to use this And just chat to people. Do you know what I get? I get um, You know road rage. I get gaming rage if someone annoys me on a live stream who I'm playing against It's on the fifth area is I want to invite my friends or I just want to invite people in general to come and game with me So if you reckon if you claim you're good. Yeah at gaming hit me up because you could come in and have a little game against me and we could have a conversation, you know? Um, the f what, what number are we on? We're on number six. The sixth area is um, old school gaming, like retro games. The era that I sort of grew up in when I was young, there was older games and some of those games are my favorite. I'm not gonna reveal which ones just yet. I generally really like retro gaming, old gaming. So what I'm gonna do is review and just explain some of the old games and my top gaming characters, my top storylines. I hope you guys enjoy it. Just at the end of the day, I'm just gonna, I just wanna put out stuff that you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know any games you want me to play. Let me know challenges you want me to do. Let me know anything. This is me and I hope you guys enjoy taking this journey with me. This is quite a cliche thing, but I can't wait to say it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell your mum, tell your auntie, tell anyone, tell all your mates, tell your dog to subscribe. Like, do you know what I mean? If the dog's got a paw, it can whack subscribe.